you do. Um, this is it. I'm doing plant-based. I eat a lot. <laughs> That's the other thing. When you eat plant-based, you're eating all the time, and it's great because I love to eat. But this is my favorite in the show. This is the one that I was the most excited about because we love cauliflower at my house. It's one of our staples, and we're always making, like, buffalo cauliflower or cauliflower something but to be able to perfect the way that they are done to be able to have them hold um, the sauce without it being you know not good for you or having like a lot of starchiness or friedness is very very hard to do enter rolling greens five bags love these they're so good uh, cauliflower wings and choice of flavor here's what you choose do you want the teriyaki do you want my favorite, which is the green buffalo? It has a kick to it. It's so, so good. Do you want the sweet mustard or do you want the combo? And they come in a bag like this. Just to let you know, like last night, we had a whole bag as appetizers for my family of five and we all could not get enough um, in one bag like as appetizers. I will also eat, you know, maybe half a bag or like a quarter of a bag in tacos or on my salad. Um, they're great just to snack on. The sauces are to die for. I'm gonna ta stop talking so Lindsay can talk because she needs to tell you all about this. Lindsay Cunningham and her husband Ryan are the ones who created these. Hi, welcome in, Lindsay. Hi, Kirsten. Thank you so much for having us today. We wish we could be there with you. Now, I can't wait till you guys are back in the studio with us, but I am thrilled to be able to introduce these to everybody because as we were talking about, Lindsay, um, the first time that I had like a buffalo cauliflower thing was at a really great restaurant in Nashville. And since then, we've been addicted, but they're hard to do at home on your own. Exactly. So we have perfected this cauliflower wings. These are cauliflower florets, lightly coated in a tempura style batter, just a few simple ingredients, rice flour, arrowroot, garlic, and sea salt. Crispy and so flavorful. And you guys started as a food truck, right? Exactly. So we're a husband and wife team, as you mentioned, and Rolling Greens actually began as a food truck back in 1980 as Boulder, Colorado's first organic food truck. And then in 2016, we expanded with the line of packaged products. And these were some of our favorite customers, food truck favorites. Yeah, they really are. They're so, so good. My favorite happens to be, well, let's start over here. You have a choice of your, your mustard, your sweet mustard. Exactly. So this is a play on honey mustard, but it's vegan. We use only four ingredients, brown mustard, brown sugar, garlic, and sea salt. It's tangy, but sweet. If you're a fan of mustard, you will love this. And I will tell you, it's really hard because we've tried for so long to get your... Um your cauliflower to be crispy but also soft at the same time and to mm -hmm. hold on to a flavor and you've done it so well and a lot of it has to do with that coating my favorite way to do this is in an air fryer and it takes like 10 minutes tops you can also do them in the oven um, but air frying is my favorite there's your sweet mustard this one is my favorite kind and that is your green buffalo yeah, so this is actually the first spicy green buffalo sauce. It has over 70% fresh spinach, but you would never taste it. Um, our pickled jalapenos give it a mild kick, but not super overwhelming of a spice. On a scale from 1 to 10, I'd say it's like a 4. Um, it's olive juice, lemon juice, or sorry, olive oil, lemon juice, garlic, sea salt, um, really fresh. Fewer than 200 left to go around. Here's how we eating them, eat them. You see me drizzling. You can also toss them if you want. But my family does them um, like this. We dip right in there. Dip, and you can just heat up that sauce on the side, um, either in hot water or afterwards if you have like a lock and lock. But we dip them and eat them this way, and they are so good. Truly, can't get enough. And my kids, too. My kids keep going back and back and back, and I'm, I'm like giggling on the inside going, they're eating cauliflower like it's french fries and that makes me so happy exactly so we really did this to create a healthy alternative that you can feel good about feeding your family i mean we use whole clean simple ingredients that you know and love using real food so this has you know nice protein fiber um and you it's indulgent and you comfort food but it's healthy and it's light this is the teriyaki. So a couple of ideas with this one. So the teriyaki you can do on top of noodles. You could do it like as a general sows. You could do it. Um, we have like little teriyaki bites over here. Um, you could absolutely put the teriyaki and you can put any of these into a taco. 
that that's oh one God. of my favorite ways to do these is put them in tacos. A hundred percent. They're so good, especially the spicy green buffalo. But um, the teriyaki is great over a rice bowl. You can, Ooh, you know, bowl. it kind of like this. Yeah, this teriyaki really transports you to like your favorite Japanese restaurant. Mm -hmm. It's a traditional Japanese sauce that Chef Ko um, created, and it's inspired by his sensei from Sakai, Japan. And it's the perfect balance of salty and sweet. So good. All right, so we're almost out of the green buffalo. We have fewer, <laughs> fewer than 200 left in those to go around. Oh, 150 now left to go around. Fewer than 200 left in the combo. Well over two-thirds of our combo is completely sold out. Free shipping and handling. These are gluten-free. Um, they are really, really easy to cook. I mean, less than 10 minutes is what we did in the air fryer at 400, and they were good to go. We flipped them once or, like, shook them up once. Um, they are free from the top 12 allergens. Y you know, the other thing is people always say, well, every, you know, anything can be good if you fry it. But when you fry things, sometimes you are taking away the nutritional value of whatever that vegetable is, right? In, in this case, I love that, yes, there is a coating on it, but the coating is, like, three or four ingredients, and it's not something that you feel bad about. Exactly. We use organic sunflower oil. And like you said, all you do is put them in the air fryer 380 for about eight to 10 minutes or until crispy, they crisp right up. Or you can convection bake or regular bake at 400 for about 12 to 15 minutes at home. And they really do have a little, like they have a crispiness to them. They have a potato quality to them as well because it is a uh, cauliflower. But the sauce, and the sauce that you're using the whole ingredients in, the sauce is really what will blow you away. I need to update you here real quick. So in the combo, <laughs> oh, it's sold out. The combo sold out. In the oh, green buffalo, yay. we have four dozen left in the green buffalo, about 200 in the sweet, the mustard one. And about 200 left in the teriyaki. That's all we have left uh, in that one. Ter Here's the other thing, Lindsay, that I feel like right now we aren't getting a chance to go out very often and go to our favorite restaurant. So obviously whether you're making the tacos, but get the teriyaki and do kind of your favorite Asian flair dinner night. Exactly. Like uh, you just said it, you know, this has become a big trend in restaurants and given the times, unfortunately, you know, we're not going out to restaurants so you can get this in your own home and it's so easy to make. Um, you know, the shelf life is great because it's in the freezer and all you do is take it out and you can air fry or convection bake, but it's just such a great, um, you know, alternative. And then you can also use it you know, if you're entertaining, you can put it out on a, a platter with yeah. carrots and celery. Appetizers. Or, I mean, They're great as appetizers. Exactly. They are so versatile. Oh, the, the green buffalo is gone. I'm bummed because, like, I bought some <laughs> of this stuff before, but I'm like, I really should have gotten a whole lot more. Um, free shipping and handling less than $10 per bag. What we have left is the sweet mustard, and then we have the teriyaki. The combo's gone. The green buffalo is gone. Um, please work on getting us more. Thank you. My favorite in the show. Thank you so much, Lindsay, for Aww, being here. Thank hey, thank you so much for having us. We appreciate you all. Have a good day. And this killed me, too because I want to eat it so bad. They're so good. <laughs> okay, food is part of what we here at QVC call our home checklist. Um, it's something that we put together with all of the necessary things